Hello everyone, welcome back to some more From the Depths. We are back on the battleship that people have maybe seen too much, but who cares. I mean, we're back, and there's things, and there's been a new update recently, and there's so much things for me to get back into the fray with. Back, in, Gotta get accustomed to a whole lot of new things here, like if we, for example, go into B, we have the... Uh, the particle cannon, which is going to be huge, it's, I'm going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be building a ship soon, but first, I've done some modernizing to the battleship. I've made the barrels of these, like, three longer, so we have 0.35 in accuracy. We have got the same amount of stats, roughly. And we did crank the shields up a little bit, because the recent update not only did things like increase the... Uh, I don't, I don't really actually know a lot about the recent update, but this brings me to, let's see, radio thermal generators, I believe is the phrase. Anyway, in processed resources we have radio isotope thermoelectric generators. And basically they're small, uh, large blocks ranging from 2 meter long to 4 meter long and 3 by 3. And they generate roughly 25 power per block. So, for example, this large one, the 3x3, takes up a total of 27 blocks, like 1x1 one one meter blocks, and it generates 675 energy for your batteries. So, we now actually have a way to charge our batteries without having to use the engines. Which means, if we fly into the control room here, we can quickly turn the shields to the reflect. And you can now see that we're not actually using any of the uh, of the batteries to charge the... Uh, we're only using any of the engines to charge the batteries. And we can have our shields up for a long time now. Which is going to be great. It still guzzles a lot of fuel. Like, it will take priority from the, uh, from the engines before it starts using the shields. But I want to keep this ship as a uh, battery and fuel hybrid, so to say. I don't want to go full batteries because it would just be overkill, it would require so much stuff, but at least we now have some means of keeping our shields up for a long time. So I've extended the range on that a bit. I might still tinker a little bit with them in the field, who knows. But yeah, we now have shields that are actually working for longer 10 seconds, which brings me to the point what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a continuation of the campaign? Which may still be bugged, I'm not entirely sure. Because if we go over to the main menu... We will see... If I load up the... Latest save, there we go. This was the uh, most recent save that I was messing around with. We should be able... Um, we should get an error message, yep, there we go. Force meter at references, no design, or external source. There we go. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fix the campaign. I'll be taking a look at that after uh, after things are done, etc. But yeah, that has basically left me to phrase you the question: Do you want to? Do you guys want to see this campaign continued? We would be able to easily press on to the White Flares and their final base. We could then take on the Lightning Hoods. We could then... I mean, we can probably ignore what's left of the Onyx Watch. After we've... Now that we've taken out their fortress, we've got the Twin Guard. We've got the Steel Striders. The Scarlet Dawn is in this corner over here. We're gonna have to take them out at some point, or we can... Start a new campaign, maybe focus on a mini campaign against the White Flayers, or just restart in general, start afresh with the uh, Deepwater Guard, see what we can come up with with the new Particle Cannon. So yeah, this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter video, because I'm still trying to figure out, like, Receiving. trying to get back into the swing of things is the right way to put it, I suppose. Like, I'm just really still... Trying to find my way again. It's been a while since I've played. I haven't really done much work for From the Depths like I was hoping to. 
Like, I've still got the uh, F-14 Bombcat that's lying around half finished. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish that. And there's just other things, like... I've been busy recording other things instead of... Relaxing. Mm, being able to put in the proper work to them. Keep from the depths going. Which brings me to the next point. This is gonna be a... The series, when it continues, will be one video every other day so i'm probably going to be switching it up with stellaris so one day you'll have uh, from the depths so today you'll have from the depths although this is to be fair this is more of an announcement video than anything so it's not an official like episode but at the very least it's from the depths and i'm basically asking for your input here just what are we going to do what do you guys want to see we could take a look at dangerous waters i suppose so, it's up to you guys, up to the comments, etc. And then just letting you know, like, hey, it's not gonna be every day, it's gonna be every other day. Mostly to keep my sanity in check, like, it really does take a lot of work, and it does take time, and I don't always have the time to always play and do all the things and spend hours off camera trying to prepare one video when I also have to play and record other games some battle damage still on this one. Let's just ignore that. Yeah, hopefully the, the shield should be able to fix this. Yeah, this is uh, basically just me saying, hey, it's gonna be back starting... not today, obviously, not tomorrow, because tomorrow is gonna be Stellaris, probably. But the day after tomorrow, there we go. We'll have the first episode out, or... I'm actually thinking I might do a tutorial on the uh, the particle cannon, which we just I haven't really taken a look at yet. But we'll take a look at it in the uh, in the tutorial itself. So that'll be the first video coming out in two days, and then after that, two days after that, we'll start getting back to the campaign to give me some time to prepare and make sure I have enough content to keep you guys entertained, basically. So yeah, it's a very short video, but. I don't know, let me know your thoughts down below, it's going to be important, might have a, uh, a big effect on changes that might happen to the, uh, to the From the Depths covering format, etc. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this short announcement video, I guess, if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below, it shows me that From the Depths is a series that you wish to see continued on the channel, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts, and until next time, have a good one folks.